Good morning everyone. It is Monday morning the 25th of January and we are going to come together this morning and read Proverbs chapter 18. So let's hear God's word. Unfriendly people care only about themselves. They lash out at common sense. Fools have no interest in understanding. They only want to air their own opinions. Doing wrong leads to disgrace and scandalous behaviour brings contempt. Wise words are like deep waters. Wisdom flows from the wise like a babbling brook. It is not right to equip the guilty or deny justice to the innocent. Fool's words get them into constant quarrels. They are asking for a beating. The mouths of fools are their ruin. They trap themselves with their lips. Rumours are dainty morsels that sink deep into one's heart. A lazy person is as bad as someone who destroys things. The name of the Lord is a strong fortress. The godly run to him and are safe. The rich think of their wealth as a strong defence. They imagine it to be a high wall of safety. Haughtiness goes before destruction. Humility precedes honour. Spouting off before listening to the facts is both shameful and foolish. The human spirit can endure a sick body, but who can bear a crushed spirit? Intelligent people are always ready to learn. Their ears are open for knowledge. Giving a gift can open doors. To, it gives access to important people. The first to speak in court sounds right until the cross-examination begins. Flipping a coin can end arguments. It settles disputes between powerful opponents. An offended friend is harder to win back than a fortified city. Arguments separate friends like a gate blocked with bars. Wise words satisfy like a good meal. The right words bring satisfaction. The tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. The man who finds a wife, the man who finds a wife finds a treasure and he receives favour from the Lord. The poor plead for mercy, the rich answer with insults. There are friends who destroy each other, but a real friend sticks closer than a brother. Amen. The end of Proverbs chapter 18. It's the proverb which, it's the chapter which carries that well-known verse, the name of the Lord is a strong fortress or a strong tower. Uh, the godly run to him and are safe. A line in him which is used about just how we find safety in God, how we are secure in him. But it's something else which comes through in that as well. It's about listening. Um, one of the things it says, verse 15 says, intelligent people are always ready to learn. Their ears are open for knowledge. You know, we joke whenever we do children's dresses in church about how God has given us two ears, but only one mouth. So we should listen twice as much as what we speak. But Solomon's talking about that, about letting our mouths run away with us and how our mouths can get us into trouble. In fact, he says in one of the verses about how the tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. That's a sign of their justice system at the time. How on the word of just two or three witnesses, you could be put to death. Um, and to be careful about what you say. Is what you're saying truthful? And is what you're saying helpful? Because I mean, just after that, um, or just before that, it talks about an offended friend is harder to win than a fortified city. Arguments separate friends like a gate locked with bars. You know, it is about learning to listen to one another, isn't it? Um, it's about wanting to help one another, not always think that we are right, but be, be willing to, to listen, be willing to hear. Um, because sometimes we do get things wrong, sometimes we pick things up wrong, sometimes we hear people wrong, or we take the wrong meaning out of it. And rather than jump in and retaliate with our tongues, listen, listen and Get understanding, see what the person's actually saying, talk with gentleness, 
don't argue, talk with love. You know, it's like it says at the very end there, uh, there are friends who destroy each other, but a real friend sticks closer than a brother. You know what it's like when you have a friend who you can talk to, who you, who you can say anything to, and who will always be there for you. you know, that's the model of the relationship with God and with Jesus. God always sticks with us. He knows all our faults. He knows them better than we know ourselves, and yet he's always there for us. Um, he always listens to us, and he always gives us those words of wisdom. It's about us, us applying that in everyday life. And don't rush in with words. Don't just argue for the sake of it. Um, sometimes you say people have an argument with nature, but it's, it's not being like that. It's, it's being willing just to, to take a step back and to listen and to hear. And then, yes, if, if it's completely wrong what somebody's saying, how we gently talk about that. Or if we're the one who's completely wrong, how we hear that so that it sinks in and we can allow ourselves to, to, to you know, examine ourselves and to see what's going on. So this week, let's set ourselves a challenge in our conversations. We're doing a lot of talking at the moment, not face to face, but over the telephone. Let's set a, a, ourselves a challenge of really listening to people as they talk, really taking in what they're saying so that we can understand, so that we can help one another, support one another in the way that a true friend does. What a way to start the week. Determined that we can listen and so help. Let's pray about that this morning. Father, thank you for the start of a, of a new week. Thank you for a, another bright and glorious day, a gift from you. Lord, this day, this week, as we go about our lives, please help us to be able to listen to one another. Help us not to be impatient and to want to rush in with, with words which so often are foolish and can hurt but help us to truly listen to one another, to hear what is being said, to let that sink in and their, the understanding sink in, and then to speak in an intelligent way, in a helpful way, in a way that helps to support one another. Lord, thank you. Continue with us now, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning and for watching. Um, back again tomorrow morning, half nine again, same time, same place. Take care. God bless. Bye.